So back when we had the old tractor, we only had one attachment and it was this box blade right here. And if you've only got one attachment, then you don't really need a quick hitch, right? You just, we just left it hooked up all the time, you know? We pretty much never took it off. Um, but now that we've got this new tractor and starting to accumulate some more implements and attachments for it, I'm starting to realize what a pain in the rear end it is to hook something like this up, disconnect it, hook it up. These pins right here are just an absolute nightmare. I mean, because there's so many different, you know, planes that you have to line up. You know, you got to get your arms the right distance apart, the right height off the ground. Everything has to be even. The tractor has to be perfectly lined up, you know, in a, in a perfect line with the attachment. I mean, there's just so many different angles that have to be just right to get these two pins, this one over here and this one, uh, to hook up in those little eyelets on the back of your, of your three point. And then to compound everything, you know, trying to stick the, the pin through the, the hole in the arm is uh, quite a pain sometimes too, because if one side is a little bit higher than the other side, it just throws everything out of whack. You know, I've actually uh, taken a sledgehammer and, you know, once we get the uh, the three-point arm started on the pin here, we'll take a sledgehammer and, like, hit it really hard to beat it on there so we can get the, the pin to slide in. I mean, you guys know how it is. It's just a real pain. And uh, it never fails. You know, you end up busting your knuckles or smashing a finger or something. Um, just totally a pain. So anyway, long story short, like a lot of guys, I started looking at the quick hitches and I started out looking at the traditional ones that are like a full frame kind of deal with an adjustable hook up here. And then you've got the, the two spring loaded quick hitch parts at the bottom. Uh, I started looking at those first because they're the most common type and uh, that's what most people that I know around here use. But the problem with those is that unless all of your implements are exactly the same, they can be very problematic. So the distance between your top pin and your bottom pins and the width between your bottom pins. I mean, everything has to be exactly the same among all of your implements. And if it's not, you can end up having a lot of issues with those traditional style quick hitches. And I just really, you know, hated to spend two or three hundred dollars on a quick hitch and then end up having to modify it or having issues with it, you know, or something like that. So I just so happened to stumble upon this product online called Pat's Easy Quick Hitch. Um, and you guys have already seen this before if you're tractor enthusiasts. If you're not, if you're kind of getting, you know, into tractors, you may not have seen it yet. I don't know. But anyway i think just from what i had seen that that's the way to go i think that's going to be the ticket uh, because really the top link up here is not the problem i never have trouble with that i mean you can take this pin out you can adjust your top link real easy you can get this one connected pretty easy the problem that i always have is these two bottom links those are where the issues always you know happen so if you could just make these two at the bottom easier to hook up then I think the whole process of, of connecting implements would be a piece of cake at that point. And the PATS system looks like the ticket because all it does is it addresses these two bottom pieces and it doesn't cause the distance between these two bottom pins to be fixed. You know, uh, your three point arms can still swing and can still move. And so that means that any implement, old or new, will work. You know, you can, if as long as it's cat one to go with the cat one system or cat two to go with the cat two system, you know, as long as you're using the right category of stuff, it will work. And you don't have to worry about, you know, brand of implement or age of implement or design of implement. They're all just going to work. Um, so in my opinion, that looked like the way to go. And not only was that probably a better way to go, I think, but they were cheaper too. I mean, most of the traditional quick hitches were like $200 and up. Some of them were like $450. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. Uh, I got the Pat's uh, Easy 
hitch system, whatever they call it there. I'll have to go look at the box again. But basically the Pat's quick hitch system I got for like 165 from Rural King up the road here. So uh, save me some money and I think it's gonna work better too. All right, so this is the Pat's Easy Change Tractor Hitch System. Here's the rod uh, that you have to assemble, but it's a piece of cake to put it together. And the object here with this rod is that it keeps your lower arms on your three-point hitch the same distance apart so that you can easily get back up under your implement to hook it up without having to get off the tractor and manipulate the width between them manually. Looks like some really, really good packaging here. So here's the hardware bag with instructions. Looks like some uh, pretty good heavy duty hardware. And these are a little bit bigger than I expected. I don't think the camera is really doing it justice, but that's a big heavy piece. Very well made, you can tell. Really heavy. Cool. I'm going to set these aside for a moment. See what else is down in the box. Looks like that's going to be about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be about it. So. You know, I've seen a couple of videos where guys have installed these and of course you've got these little shims in there and some roll pins that you have to put in those shims. And the reason for that is that this distance here may vary from tractor to tractor, you know, so the shims go in the bottom to take up the slack. But uh, all in all, it doesn't look too bad, so I'm going to put these on the tractor and then we'll be able to try them out. Okay, so the very first thing that I did was put grease on here so that those wouldn't freeze up on me. Because I figure that once you put these on, you're probably not going to take them off again for a long time, if ever. So these will probably have a tendency to seize up on you which they're kind of notorious for doing anyway. So I put a really good layer of grease on both sides on that one too, obviously, and worked it around real good. And then I've laid out my hardware here. That way I'm kind of organized and I know what I need to do. Third thing is I went ahead and put the roll pin in. Once I verified which one of these shims I needed, I just hammered that roll pin in. So that's ready to go. So I guess now uh, it's time for installation. Okay. So obviously you got to take the pin out first, and to do that you got to pull this cotter pin out, slide the main pin out of there, and then I'm going to slide this on. Trial and error here. There we go. Slide that back in. So you can see how obviously it's loose. And that's the reason why you use the shim. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and lay this in here. Like so. Trying to line this up. Hmm. Sometimes you just kind of have to wiggle it. There you go. All right. So it's on there now. I shouldn't have put this pin in for that demonstration. I should have just left it out at that point. But all right. So that shim helps it a little bit to uh, stabilize in this direction. 
but obviously you still got some wobble here. So that's what these are for. These bolts screw into the side here and they give you some more lateral stability like that. And then of course you've also got this U-bolt that goes on the back back here like that and it gives it even more support. So basically you end up with three different methods of securing this thing to the arm so that it's good and solid when you're done. And of course they give you some pretty good instructions. Um, got a lot of little nuts here that are to be used with these little bolts and of course you're going to jam them. So you put two on there so you've got a jam nut also. So got a total of two, four, six, eight of those nuts and four bolts. So obviously that means you can put two on each one. So I won't bore you to death. I'll go ahead and thread these on there and get those in. And then I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, let's back up here for just a minute because I've already made a mistake. Don't know what I was thinking. So obviously you're gonna have to have some nuts to go on the bottom of these U-bolts. So you don't put two nuts on each of these bolts. My bad. Obviously you just need one for a jam nut. You're gonna use the washers and the other nuts for the bottom of your U-bolts. Now the instructions tell you that when you put those main pins in, you're gonna put them in so that the large holes to the inside, because these large holes over here and over there is what the rod connects to, the rod that keeps the distance the same so that you can back up to your implement. Well, that's where that rod goes. So you gotta make sure those holes are on the inside. So basically this is one of those installations that's it's really easy to do. It's just got some little steps to go through. So the time involved far exceeds the difficulty. Really easy to do. Uh, just gotta make sure you follow the directions and that way you won't be like me and have to backtrack. So basically you just got these four bolts and each one with jam nuts and the U-bolt over your arm that goes through and has washers and nuts on the bottom of that. And then you got your shim with your roll pin inside there. And then lastly, this main pin that holds it on. So now all you have to do is make sure that you get them even and squared up when you tighten them down. And the instructions make that pretty clear. I mean, you don't want them like this or whatever. You know, you gotta keep them you gotta keep them lined up and kind of like that when you're tightening them down. Because obviously, you know, when you back up to your implement, you want the pins and everything to be at 90 degree angles to the slots in these things. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, it's a neat little installation, very cool product. As far as operating them goes, this particular one is spring loaded. So you just, well, it's still loose. <laughs> You gotta tighten everything down, but you just uh, have this little, well, it's hard to do with one hand. When I'm trying to hold the camera, there we go. <laughs> Let's try that again. I was pushing off the wrong way. You got this little mechanism here that you can slide out of the way to operate the latch. Now you can push this all the way up and then slide this underneath of it to hold it open. You can do that also, or you can do it like this. And then once your pin slides down in there, you can latch it securely so i mean it's really cool how it works i mean it does require you to get off the tractor but it's going to be so much simpler to use and practicality to hook up to the implements i think it's going to be so much easier and so much uh less frustrating you know than the traditional full frame quick hitches so i'm pretty anxious to use these and see how they work i think it's going to be great now the instructions do tell you that when you put these on there, you're adding four inches to the length here. So you're pushing your connecting point four inches out. Um, so there may be some implements where you have to take that into account, but I think for the most part, it's not gonna be a big deal. So anyway, just FYI on that. So there you go. I mean, again, a cool product. And like I said, I mean, you know, I got the telescoping stabilizers hooked up, but with this product, your arms can still move in and out. You know, they're not fixed in place like on a traditional quick hitch. And I think that is the thing that's gonna make this 
so much easier and less frustrating to actually use. Time will tell. Okay, so I got everything installed and tightened down and I suspect after thinking about this that probably the first time you hook up to your implement you may have to make some minor adjustments here because I mean really you're just kind of eyeballing it to make sure those are kind of even and level and they're installed on the arms you know the right way but in actuality the first time you hook up to your implement you may find that you got to make some pretty simple adjustments so these nuts are 9 16 nuts and uh, the bolts are too of course so I just threw a 9 16 wrench and socket in my toolbox on the tractor to take with me so the next time I go out in the field when I hook up um, if I have to make some minor adjustments I can but we'll see now the next part and this is optional of course but you've got these funny looking washers that they send you and I'll show you what those are for okay so you notice that these washers have a cutout in them right there now normally you now my pin has gotten turned around but normally you want your hole to be on the top it's just easier to access that way but imagine that, that was on the top you would just take this and slide it over here and then when you stick your pin in there like so now it gives you sort of a flange out here so that when you bring the pat's quick hitch in there and hook up to it it gives you a little bit of protection because i mean otherwise you would probably just kind of rip this pin right out you know but with that washer on there it gives that quick hitch a to mounting point something to kind of rest up against so that's sort of the idea with those it just gives you some protection for your pin which is a cool idea i'm glad they included that in the box because honestly i wouldn't have thought about that until i went to hook up to the attachment so i'm glad they included that and uh, the other thing too is they give you three different pair of those in the box so you've got enough of those to do three different implements now on my land plane that i just bought it doesn't have this style with the pins sticking out like that it's actually got a flange right here like there's a a bar of material on both sides and then you slide the pin in i mean it kind of works differently so i don't really need those on it but if you've got the kind with the pins you got three pairs so you can do three different implements right out of the box so like i said that's kind of the deal on the pats i haven't tried it out yet but i think it's going to work great and uh I'm glad that I stumbled upon those. Now that's the great thing about YouTube is that you got so many different channels out there and you know all these different guys are doing kind of different things and uh, you know some guys are using their tractors for this, some are using it for that, but in the middle there are these things that we all need and we all can benefit from you know and so collectively you know all the different YouTube channels and all the different ideas you know we see each other's ideas and we kind of share things. You know, I found this simply because I was watching some other people's channels, you know, or I may not have found it otherwise. And then I was browsing online and kind of saw them on there too. So, you know, it, it's helpful to uh, share information. And that's the cool thing about technology nowadays is you can see, you know, other people use these things. Cause you know, I think back to, uh, you know, like 30 years ago when I was growing up, 30 35 years ago when I was a boy you know and then even when I was in high school to be honest I mean a lot of people didn't have computers at home there was no such thing as a smartphone you know the internet was in its infancy and so you know you didn't really have the ability to share ideas and show each other things like this basically all we had back then was word of mouth you know just the people that you knew in your community you know the farmers would get together and chat at mcdonald's in the morning over coffee you know or something like that you know if you needed something for your tractor you pretty much had your local dealers and that was it and there's nothing wrong with that it's just that nowadays we you know with technology we have resources that we never had before so that really is making life a lot easier i guess you know a lot more convenient so anyway i'm gonna tr try out these uh quick hitch this Pat's quick hitch system I'm gonna go try it out here in a little while and see if it's gonna work out the way I think but it should be awesome 
for now, I'm going to head back in the house, get a couple other things done, eat some lunch. So we'll talk to you later.